Okay, I'm looking at question number eight now. It says a system of equations is shown. Y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x squared. It asks, what are the solutions to the system of equations? Well, let me just review. Um, most of the time in algebra, you're just solving a system of equations where it would be two linear equations. This happens to be a linear equation, x to the first power, and then it's got a quadratic equation. So you're probably less familiar with these, but recall the solution to a system of equations, if you're graphing, solving it by graphing, okay, the solution occurs um, at the intersection point or points. So in this case, points. All right, so when you graphed, for example, um, two lines and solved a system of equations by graphing, you graphed the two lines, and sure enough, that point where they intersected, okay, that xy ordered pair was the solution to the system. It was the ordered pair that was the solution to both equations at the same time. So if we want to find the solution to this system using technology, which you have access to, Graph these two equations and see where they intersect. So y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x squared. Let's go graph these. So go to the graphing. And we want y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x squared. Let me double check. Yep, 3x minus 2 and x squared. So if you put those two equations both in at the same time and you go to the graph feature, Sure enough, here it is. Now, this is, <laughs> this is kind of hard to see. Um, I can see if I scroll up a little and over. I mean, I can clearly see that there is some intersection going on there. But <laughs> it's not super obvious, maybe. It's definitely a little iffy here. Um, let's zoom in. Use the zoom in feature. If we keep zooming in, then I think I can see here that there is an intersection right here. And I'm going to call that the point 1, 1. So at 1, 1, it looks to me like the straight line intersects with that curved line. So that, I think, is one solution. And then let's go ahead and go over up a little further and see if we can see. Okay, and it's hard to see this. It's really hard. It's not great technology, to be honest with you here. But I can see right here, and if I go down here, let's go back down and see what that's lined up at. Okay, I'm thinking that's at 2. So it was up at 4 and over at 2. So at the ordered pair 2, 4. I'm thinking that those are the two solutions to this system, 2, 4, and 1, 1. So let's go back over here, and let's test this. The ordered pair 2, 4, and the ordered pair 1, 1. It looks to me like those are the two places where those two graphs intersect. So let's just do a quick check and see. Um, y equals 3x minus 2 and then y equals x squared. If I put 2 and 4 in for x and y, okay, what I end up with is 4 equals 3 times 2 minus 2, and that's 6 minus 2, so sure enough, 2, 4 is a solution there, and 4 does equal 2 squared, so 2, 4 is a solution there. We're in good shape. Check the other ordered pair, which was 1, 1. If I put 1 in for x and y, then I end up with 1 equals 3 times 1 minus 2. And that is true. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 1 squared equals 1. And so, sure enough, I can say for sure the ordered pair 2, 4, and then the ordered pair 1, 1. These are the solutions to this equation. Okay, now... Solving this algebraically, I don't know. There's definitely various ways to do this. Um, but what I would do is maybe use substitution and say, 
if y is equal to 3x minus 2 and y is also equal to x squared, then I can set x squared equal to 3x minus 2. All right, I know those two things are equal because y is equal to each of those. And so this is a quadratic equation and you can solve it by getting it set equal to 0. So subtract 3x and add 2. And if I factor x squared minus 3x minus 2, I get x minus 2 times x minus 1. And my two solutions, if I use the zero product property, my two solutions come up to be x equals 2 and x equals 1. And so if those are the x coordinates of my solution, I can solve for my y coordinates by putting these into those equations. So let's go ahead and take the first equation, y equals 3x minus 2. If I put 2 in for x, then I get y is equal to 6 minus 2, that's 4. So y is 4 when x was equal to 2, which as an ordered pair is 2, 4. And then you can use that same equation again to find the other ordered pair solution. This time I'm going to put 1 in for x. The other solution I came up with was 1 for the value of x. And so I get y equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. So y equals 1 when x equaled 1. And so that shows my other solution is going to be the ordered pair 1, 1. So Algebraically, we can determine the two solutions, um, but using the technology, although it's not great, it's probably your best bet to get the answer quickly, um, is to zoom and crop in to find the point where the two intersect. Actually, let me go back to the technology. Mm. Let me show you one other thing. All right, let me show you one other thing that I forgot about with the technology. Let's see, let's go back to my expressions. I'm going to reset this and type these in again. 3x minus 2 and x squared. Okay, if I go back to this graph again, I can immediately see that these do intersect. There is this feature called trace, which moves a little blue dot onto the screen. Let's see what happens. If I keep, oh, that's pretty good. Um, how does this thing tell you the coordinate? Okay, let's go in the table. Look at the table. If I go to my table, at when x is 1, ooh, this is good. Look at this. If you know what this means, okay? What this means is that when x is 1, the y coordinate for the first graph is also 1. And when x is 1, the y coordinate for the second graph is also 1. And so therefore, they both pass through, both graphs pass through the point 1, 1. They also both pass through the point 2, 4. If you know what you're looking at here, this is the y coordinate of the first equation. This is the y coordinate of the second equation when x equals 1 and when x equals 2. So that would be another way you could do this. I don't love that trace feature. Go back to the graph here. I don't know if the trace, where does the trace tell us the coordinate that we're at? I wish I could tell you that right now. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't think you can see it. It's outside my window, but up here, up here, if you go into your calculator, what it says up there outside of my blinking screen here, the where it's flashing, says x equals 2, y, 1, equals 4. It gives the coordinate of that point where that blue dot is located. And that coordinate is 2, 4. And if I go back over to the other place it looks like they're intersecting, then the coordinate is up listed in the corner. It's listed as x equals 1, y equals 1. So again, it will name the coordinate, the ordered pair where those two points intersect. All right. So I guess my advice would be watch video to 
the end to learn about trace feature of the calculator. Okay, there we go.